Calvary, Lord, Calvary. Calvary, Lord, Calvary. Calvary, Lord. St. John 13. And we want you to look at 13 and verse 4. No, that's not the one. Verse, go to St. John uh, 36. Right, verse 6. 13 and 6. 13 and 6. Okay, you know the one. Then, right. then come up he to Simon Peter. Then came he. Now Jesus uh, had finished the supper. He had instituted with his disciples. Amen. And he had finished that supper. Now, he didn't stop there. A lot of churches stop and they say it's not necessary. Well, that's up to them. But I'm saying what we do here at the Church of God. We're going to eat the whole roll. Amen. Now, Christ gave us an example of how we chose to perform this, this, this part of the service that he started and instituted. Amen. They was doing this when I got saved and coming to the church of God. This was one of the teachings that they taught here at the church of God. Back in 1968, well, some of you were even born. Amen. Amen. And we have been doing it ever since I've been in here and way before I even came here. Amen. And it won't stop now because the same Holy Ghost is leading us that was led me in. So Praise Lord, huh? Amen. And the Holy Ghost don't change. Lord. And the scripture definitely don't change. And Jesus said, my word cannot be broken. It's got to be performed. All right, so he went to 13, and he gave us an example because Peter was always an outspoken individual. Peter. And Peter said unto him, Lord, dost thou wash my feet? St. John 13, verse 6. St. John 13, verse 6. Uh-huh. Peter, he cometh to Simon Peter. And Peter said and he unto him. And he began to wash he was going to wash Simon Peter's feet. Mm -hmm. And Peter said unto him, Lord, does thy wash my feet? Ask the question. Amen. You wash my feet, Lord? Amen. Now, what Jesus said. Jesus answered and said unto him, What I do thou knowest not now, but thou shalt know hereafter. What I do, you don't understand. A lot of things we do, we don't understand all of it. Right. No, we don't. Praise Lord. We understand. He said, who can know the mind of the Lord? Lord. Who, have set, who have he set in the council? He said, my thought, what? Are not my your thought. thought. Neither my ways, your not. As high as the heaven is from the earth, so is my ways from your ways. I'm talking about man. Amen. So how is a man going to justify or say what God going to do? Right. Amen. He done written. He said, my doctrine is not mine, but here's the sentence. If any man do his will, he'll know whether I'm speaking the truth or not. If you're reading your Bible, if, if you've got the King James Burden, we don't believe in mixing it up here. Amen. If you want to study what you want at home, but I said in the King James Burden, get this King James Burden, because man, every, that book said, uh, uh, over there in 22, uh, Revelation 22, 18, John said, I testify to every man. Yes. Now here's the prophecy of this book. If any man take away or add to the thing that's written in here, God going to add to you the pledges that's written in this book. Mm -hmm. Revelation 2, 20, uh, 22, uh, 18 and 19. Read it. Oh. Amen. Anything we say, we can prove it out of this book here. Amen. Amen. Okay. We ain't we in, we in intention to do what God said do. We know a lot of men say, I don't watch no things. Well, you go ahead on, man. You don't have to watch it first. I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I ain't got no hell to put you in. All right. But I tell you one thing, you better than Peter. And he walked with Jesus Christ, and he was one of his apostles. I know you got a lot of apostles today, but they weren't eyewitness with Christ. Amen. Amen. You had to be an eyewitness when the time of Christ in order to be an apostle. We won't go into that because that's a, another book all itself. <laughs> 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 Praise, 
Y'all listen to a strange gospel. Amen. So y'all tell somebody. Spread the news. Huh? All right. He went to Peter, F you wash, but what he said? Peter said unto him. Peter said unto him. Thou shalt never wash my feet. You shall never wash my feet. Well, you got a lot of folks saying that and doing it. Eh? You don't so never wash my feet. Hey, mm -hmm. hey, Peter. What did Jesus say? God didn't argue with you. God don't have to argue with you. God don't have to argue with you. God don't have to argue with you. Not at all. God can make souls out of rocks. He don't need you. We need the Lord. Amen. He said, a cow on a thousand hills belongs to me. He said, the earth is mine and, and everything that dwells therein belongs to God. So why you on? God don't need us. We need God. Amen. Jesus said, I can make these rock crowd. Yeah. If you hold your peace, I make the rock crowd. I raise up a nation that will obey. I don't need you. I raise up another nation. Amen. Pray, Lord. We need God. Lord loves us. Every one of us. He loves us. He don't want us to perish. But we're going to have to obey God's word. We're going to have to do what he said do. And forget about what man said. So I'll be a fool for Christ. Paul said, I'm a fool for Christ. My Lord. Say, everything I knew, I counted as done. Yeah. In order for the excellency of Christ. To know what Christ had for me to do. I'd rather be called a fool on this side. And be with the Lord. Than to be in glory with man. And when Jesus come, I, I ain't got no place to go. Right. Better obey God. All right. We trying to hurry wrong. All right. Jesus answered him. <laughs> Jesus answered him. If I wash thee not. If I wash you not. Thou Peter, hast no part with me. Thou have no part, no part with me. You ain't got no performing. You ain't got no acting this thing. Yeah. No. You mean to tell me all the time I've been working with you, I ain't got no part? No. No. Well, what Peter said? Simon Peter said unto him, Lord, yeah. not my feet only. Not my feet, Lord. But also my hands. Give me a bath hand. if it's necessary. Amen. I know man look at it in a different way, all but right, I don't look at it right. like a philosopher looks at it. A lot of these fellas write this commentary and got the Holy Ghost. I don't know what the Holy Ghost is. Amen. Amen. You got to be spiritual minded to see this word of God. Amen. This is a mystery. God's word is a mystery. Education don't make you see this. Amen. Amen. If it was, a lot of folks would stop smoking. So you got good. folks with four or five degrees, and yet still they smoking and drinking. Going to church anyway. I don't know what heaven they're going to. Yeah. And what Jesus said, let a man examine himself. Yeah. Amen. They forget about that. Praise the Lord. Huh? All right, what he said? Jesus said unto him, yeah. unto him, He that is washed needeth not save no. to wash his feet. All right, go down. He knew what Judah was going to do. Jesus washed Judah's feet, although Judah betrayed him. But Jesus still washed his feet. Amen. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He was one of them, but he betrayed him. And Jesus let him know, said, I, I go the way of, it's written of me, but woe unto the man through which the Son of Man is betrayed. It had been better if that man was never born. It would have been better for you, man, to not. He said, for the minister, for the pastors have called my people to error. It's better for you, man, not to be born than to mislead God's folk. It's better for you never was born than to mislead God's folk. Amen. Amen. A preacher stands in dangerous shoes that is set before God and steal his word and will not say what God's word is saying. God is looking at you, preacher. Amen. Amen. Better wake up out there. Praise the Lord. Huh? Better wake up. Hallelujah. So he went down to verse 13. Now, this is what he, how plain he made it. You call me master and Lord. You call me master. That means a master, one in authority, one in authority. Thought, the one in charge, one that got all, all the jurisdiction in the world. Huh? You call me master and lord. And you say, well. You say, well. For so I am. So I am. If I then. If I then. Your lord and master. Your lord and master. Have washed your feet. Have washed your feet. Ye also. You also. Ought to wash one another. You ought to ought. That word means shall. Used to express obligation. To have a duty. Something one is bound to do. My Lord. You shall wash one another's feet. All you educators look at that and see what it means. Amen. Amen. Pray, Lord. Well, the rest of the group, you better obey God, man. Amen. So Saul, it's better to obey God, huh? Amen. Sacrifice, huh? What do you say? High word? Sacrifice? It's better. Uh, obedience is obedience better. Obedience is better than to sacrifice. Obedience is better than all your sacrifice. Amen. Obey God. Saul got in trouble. You know why? He listened to folks. 
So then I brought back the best of the animals. The